All right. Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who does lead and rule well. Salutations to all you hopeful elect, Akim, pushing out this word in sincerity and in truth out the four corners of the earth. And sincere shalom to you, Akim and Akwa, for listening and learning, preparing yourselves here in these last days. Until the entire household of faith, fighting this good fight of faith, I want to say shalom. This is your brother, Dequar, from the D.C. camp. Come back at you with another lesson. And I'll entitle it, Don't Lose Hope. All right? And Lord will, this uh, this uh, lesson, you know, is just a faith booster. Um, you know, just something to, you know, pick you up. Here it is in these last days, man. Satan is attacking <laughs> on all, you know, on all levels, man. You know, many different brothers, many different fat in many different facets, man. You know, but throughout it all, that's why we have these these scriptures, man. And you know, we're supposed to hope in these scriptures. All right. There's a uh, saying in the world that they say, when you when you are down to nothing, God is up to something. All right. Now we have been blessed. With this word to know the Lord's plans. Like it says, uh, he has, uh, he know his thoughts towards us, thoughts of peace, you know, to give us an expected end. Okay. And, and that's what we have to keep our mind on, our, our, our eyes on, man. You know, not all the other stuff that's going on. Just keep our, 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 um, our hearts, our minds, you know, on, on the end goal. You know, so Lord will this this let him lesson be as edifying, okay? And um, I'm gonna get some scriptures in. You know that'll be it. All right, this is um. Let me start with uh. Obviously Hebrews. Um, the eleventh chapter. <clears> hey. <throat> this is uh Hebrews eleven verse one. It says now faith. Is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Now, oh, oh, I forgot one that I was thinking. But anyways, now, faith and hope isn't exactly the same thing, you know, but they are linked. You see? They link together, man. Faith, they, they, it says hope. It's a, hope is pretty much a precursor to faith, man. Faith is, is what? Believing and trusting in something that you cannot see, right? But hope, it's pretty much imagining that there is something to believe in and trust in in the first place, man. The belief in what could be, you know, and that's what the, the kingdom, you know, that we are the, the, the chosen. You know, it opens up that path to what, what otherwise will seem impossible, man. You know, the world would tell us that that's impossible. Okay, so without hope, there can be no faith. You can't even pray about something that you, something you can't even imagine. You know, and hope is is, is what's going, what you're going to need to get <coughs> to that level. You know, so that you can see the end of your faith. Excuse me. <sighs> Excuse me. You know. Now, uh, like I said, we're going to focus on, on faith, I mean, on hope, you know, but sometimes in the scriptures, they'll use the word uh, faith when it, go, when it means hope. Matter, matter of fact, let me get that word actually hope in this scripture. Wow. 
Well, it says hoped. Strong's G, 1679, El Pizzo. El Pizzo. Yeah, and in the Hebrew, you got like, you know, in the scriptures, it's like four different words for hope. But this one says to hope in a religious sense, to wait for salvation with joy and full confidence. Hopefully to trust in, man. To expect or confide, have a thing hope for, you know. Now, I said don't lose hope because this is something that we got to endure until the end. You know, and um, what's that? Yeah, Proverbs 13 and 12, it says, Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire, see, cometh, it is a tree of life. Now, hoping and you not seeing it immediately, it make your heart sick, man. You know, that's where that, 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 that uh, depressed feeling comes from. You know, you hoping that something happens and it, it just keeps getting delayed. So it makes you, you, you feel some kind of way. You know, but when that desire cometh, man, it's a tree of life. You know, but see, this this life that we're going through is a test, man. So we're gonna get, uh, we're going, we have to wait it out. This is that's the part of it, man. That's why the Lord wants us to be here and to wait it out and then to endure until the end. You know, that's when you're gonna receive that crown. Now, I want to get, since I'm in Hebrews, let me get this. This is one of the ones where I said that they're using faith. But they can also switch it out for hope. All right, this is Hebrews 10 and verse 20. I'm going to start at 22. It says, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that has promised. Now, you go into the Bible comparisons for that uh, verse 23, and literally every one of them, besides the KJV, says hope, right? This is CSB. It says, Let us hold on to the confession of our hope without wavering, since he who promised is faithful. You know, the new King James Version, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful. And it's all it's, it all comes down to our faith is linked in, in what the Lord can do. You know, we can hold tight to this hope because our hope is founded on the most High's faithfulness. And we know that he is faithful. Based upon what, what he left us, man. That's why I said it's a blessing that we know the things that's pleasing to the Lord. And we know that, that he, he's real, man. Um, what's that scripture? Uh, dang. Hopefully it don't. It comes back to me. Oh, no. Nah, I know it. Romans. This is Romans. Excuse me. This is Romans 15 verse 4. It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. See, see, hope is essential, man. You know? So I'm exhorting you to keep that hope. Don't ever lose it, man. You know? But, but that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. The Lord left this book for us so that we might have hope, man. You know, people might try to uh, change the story, but we know what's what based upon the Lord's word, man. And you read further down in that chapter, uh, Paul, he says this now, this is verse 13. Now the power of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So, hey, that's my, that, hey, I'm saying the same thing. I hope that you abound in hope. You know, myself as well, man. Because I know how essential it is to have that hope. So that we can keep the faith, man, until the very end. You know? What else? Back in Hebrews real quick. You know, this is Hebrews 6. In verse... Uh... 
Okay. Hebrews 6 verse 13. It says, for when the Most High made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swear by himself, saying, surely, blessing, I will bless thee, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife. Wherein the Most High, willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by oath. <coughs> and remember, we, we got this hope because it's, it came from the Lord. The promises that, that came from the Lord, man. You know? To Abraham's seed. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know? That's why it's important. This whole debate about who are the Israelites, man. That's important, man. You know, we hope in this word. It says, we trust in this word. All right, it says, uh, verse 18, it says that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for the most high to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. See, let me get a comparison because another word for hope is it, it, in um, the scriptures, it goes into refuge as well. All right. The CSB it says, so that through two unchangeable things in which it was impossible for the Most High to lie, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. <laughs> or to lay hold of the hope that, that lies before us, man. You know? It says, verse 19, here's the point. It says, which hope? We have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enter into that within the veil. So this hope that we have, man, that's our anchor. That's what keeps us rooted and grounded, man. You know? It says we have this hope as an anchor for the soul. <laughs> man. This is a hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor, man. You know? So now we're not being uh, moved to and fro from whatever we're going through, man. Yeah. We encourage to, to uh, throughout the scriptures to, to keep this hope. And Joshua 1 and 9, it says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and be of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be, be, be thou dismayed. You know, another translation of that is don't lose the hope. It says, For your power, thy power is with thee whithersoever thou goest. And we have to believe that, man. If you don't believe that, then I don't know what, what, what to tell you. You know? Um, it was another one I was thinking. Oh, yes, this is uh, Luke 18, verse 1. It says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. You know? Well, what is, this not, what is this another way of saying fainting is losing hope, man? This hope, this faith, this is our strength that's rooted in the Lord. You know? Through spirit and power of the Lord and the Holy Spirit, man. You know? Um, what else do I want? Um, this is Psalm 39, verse 7. It says, And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. You see? We ain't looking for nothing. The scripture says, surely in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills, man. If you're looking for to be saved from, from E, you know, especially when this thing pops off, man, a lot of people gonna go to this devil, you know, because they've been trained to go to him for the one of all things, man. But they haven't been trained to put their trust and their hope in their Lord, you know. But we gonna put our, our hope in the Lord because that would seem impossible. It's possible with the Lord, man. 
you know? Uh, since I'm still in Psalms, I'm going to jump to 71. Psalm 71 verse 5, it says, For thou art my hope, O Yahweh, power. Thou art my trust from my youth. You know? From our youth, man. Now let me jump to, uh, I'm still in 71. I just want to uh, jump up. Psalm 71 verse I like this whole thing. <laughs> but I'm going to get to the point. Um, I'm going to read verse 10. It says, For mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, The Most High have forsaken him, persecute, and take him, for there is none to deliver him. Hey, man, let the Most High be true, and every man a liar, man. You know? It says, O power, be not far from me. O oh, my power, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. So no matter what we're going through, man. You know, no matter what, 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 count, what wicked counsels are set up against us, man. We got to continue to hope in the Lord, man. More and more. Especially during those times, right? It's, just, you know, it's, it's beautiful, man. Hey, hope you go into the um, what's that uh, in uh, Maccabees with the the seven sons, you know? Hey, they had hope. You see that? Hey, that they will be brought back again. This is another thing, man. People, they don't teach about reincarnation, man. That's a huge part of having hope, you know, that the wicked is going to be judged and the righteous is going to be judged, <laughs> that we have a righteous power. But it was another thing that stuck out to me in that scripture, man. The mother, right? And I'm going to get this scripture. Um, 2 Maccabees 7 in verse... Um, Verse 20. It says, But the mother was marvelous above all and worthy of honorable memory. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, she bare it with a good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord. You see that? So no matter what, what we, we, we got going on, if you have that hope in the Lord, you, you bear it with a good courage, man. You know? And what? What? She goes on to talk about how, hey, how she don't know how the Lord formed, formed them in, in her womb, man. But she believes that he will give them breath and life again, man. So even in the face of death, man, we got to, we got to, uh, Believe in, in, in the Lord, man. Job said something similar. Let's get that. This is um This is Job 19 verse 25. It says, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see the most high. So what the so what are these people talking about? Is that not a clear reincarnation scripture? You know? It says, Whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. <laughs> so Yahweh Shai coming to the earth the first time as, as a man to die for our sins gives us the ultimate hope. Knowing that he's still alive, he on the right hand side of the Father conquered death. And gonna stand on the earth again. He's coming back, and and, and as a uh, as a power, <laughs> gives us hope for every day to come, man. That we already have the victory, man. We're just waiting on the Lord to see the end of our faith. That's what we have hope in, man. You know, and and Job had that hope, even though he 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 wasn't gonna see it in that time, just like the rest of our forefathers, man. You know?
This is Psalm 27, verse 13. It says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Wait on Yahweh, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, wait on Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And waiting, man, it takes strength, man. It takes courage. You know? Because you got to wait for something that's going to happen in the future. Like it said in Hebrews the first, uh, 11th chapter. You know? Let me see. It's coming back to me. Let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it was still that chapter. Um. No, that's not it. Ah, whatever. You lose. Well, if I remember it, I will. Um, I'll post it in the description, or the com uh, in the comments. <sighs> but um, <laughs> if your house child was on the planet Earth, I always think about that. You know, Elder Apostle Gabar. Um, what else? What else do I want to get? Um. I'm still in Psalms. This is Psalm 33. And verse 18. It says, Behold, the eye of Yahweh is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. So no matter what we're going through, man. It says, Our soul waited for Yahweh. He is our help and our shield, for our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Yahweh, be upon us according as we hope in thee. And I was thinking, because I also had this little thing. It says, don't lose hope. The Most High has a plan. Trust what you're going through is shaping you into who you need to become. So the Lord is, is, is doing this. And it's getting off all that dross, all that impurities out of us, which is that lack of faith. That lack of hope that's coming out of us through our trials, and we and in, in, in Romans the uh, Romans uh, five talks about that. You know how we gain that that experience. You know through these things, and let's get it. This is uh, Romans five verse three it says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulation work of patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of the Most High shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us, man. You know? So hope is important, man. And we got to hold on to it. You know? Hold on for dear life, man. Scripture says, I think I might have deleted one. But this is um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 14 verse 2. It says, blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him and who is not falling from his hope in the Lord. Yeah. Whose hope is not falling from whose who is not falling from his hope in the Lord, man. Then you are blessed. See how important it is? Get a couple more and I'm going to close. This is Wisdom of Solomon 3. Oh, do I want that? Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 3 verse 4 says, For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Going to, into, like I said, the, the sons, the seven sons in Maccabees, they had hope. They was punished, but they hope was full of immortality. They he said they they said they have hope that the Lord would give them uh well the mother said breath and life again. They said the the, the hands of, you know when they was getting tortured, the Lord would give them back to them, man. The same with us, man, when we going through what we're going through. Okay? But I really wanted um so so like it, so it was uh hold up. Yeah, Sirach. Sirach 34. 
This is Sirach 34 and verse 13. It says, The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, for their hope is in him that saveth them. Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is their hope. You see that? And that's what we look for, man. That's what we look to for our salvation, man. That's ultimately what the hope is. We hope to see that salvation. We hope to see the kingdom. You know? And that's that's essentially what this thing is about, man. And we got to hold on to that. No matter what. You know? Um, hold up. Oh, I don't think that was right. Hey, you know, but that's pretty much it. You know, that's all I wanted. You know, Lord's willing. That was um, edifying until the next lesson. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah Until the next one, I want to say Shalom.